Hello everybody. On this video, I will show you how to get BitLocker unlocked without password and recovery key. If you have an access to the Microsoft account linked to your computer or if you have the BitLocker recovery key stored in a USB drive or anywhere, then you can use the key to unlock the BitLocker encrypted partition as you can see in my previous videos in video description. But if you are unable to obtain the BitLocker recovery key, then try the Valium Media Tech suggestions on this video to bypass the BitLocker blue screen without recovery key or password. Before showing the suggestions, you have to carefully read the shown list, which contains the most common changes that trigger BitLocker recovery screen. I will show you how to revert those changes back in order to bypass BitLocker without password or recovery key. However, if the BitLocker triggered by one of the following changes, then you can't unlock the BitLocker without using a recovery key or certificate of data recovery agent. First part, how to disable BitLocker from BIOS on Windows 11 and Windows 10. If the secure boot and or trusted platform module, TPM, were disabled manually or automatically after BIOS or Windows updates, then you have to enable them in order to unlock BitLocker without password or recovery key as followings. Press ESC key to show additional recovery options. Press ESC again to open UEFI or BIOS settings. Also you can open BIOS settings by pressing the F2 key repeatedly after powering on the computer. This is the list of the most common keys to open BIOS menu for different PCs. From security tab, enable secure boot option. In Asus and other laptops with American Megatrend BIOS utility, click on advanced mode and then navigate to security tab to enable the secure boot. If the TPM is disabled in your computer, then you have to enable it in order to bypass the BitLocker without password and recovery key. Notice that the TPM configuration may take another name in some computers, for example, it may be named PTT in some Intel motherboards, or FTPM in some AMD motherboards. In Lenovo and other laptops with BIOS settings similar to this, the TPM can be turned on by changing the security chip to enabled under security tab. After enabling the TPM click apply icon or press F10 key from keyboard to save new changes. In a Dell or another laptop with BIOS similar to this, you have to do the following changes. Navigate to system configuration and then select USB configuration. Disable boot support. Navigate to Thunderbolt configuration or TBT and disable Thunderbolt boot support and Thunderbolt pre-boot modules, after that enable security level, no security option. Navigate to miscellaneous devices and disable secure digital SD card boot. Also disable any option to support USB Type-C boot or pre-boot. Navigate to post behavior and then change fast boot to thorough. Click on apply icon to apply new changes. Usually, downgrading BIOS or EFI firmware is not recommended, however, if you have a 100% confidence that the recent BIOS update leads to BitLocker recovery screen and you can't find the BitLocker key, then you can try to downgrade the BIOS firmware to earlier version if your laptop supports this operation. But you have to do this at your own risk, as this step may brick your computer, especially when installing a wrong firmware. To downgrade BIOS firmware, do the followings. See if there is an option to allow BIOS downgrade in your computer and enable it. Then search for the correct BIOS firmware from the official manufacturer website using the service tag or model number of your computer. Locate the old version of BIOS firmware file that you think is the installed version before appearance of BitLocker recovery screen. Make sure to download the file that can be installed using a USB drive and then copy it into a USB drive formatted in NTFS file system. After that, open the USB drive from BIOS and then open the BIOS update file to start downgrading process. There is another video with more details about updating BIOS firmware in description below. In some laptops, there is an option for BIOS firmware auto recovery. If enabled, you can restore your BIOS firmware to a previous state. Second part, how to unlock BitLocker drive using data recovery agent certificate. If your computer belongs to a company group domain, then you can bypass BitLocker recovery screen without recovery key through a data recovery agent, DRA. The DRA can use his certificate to unlock the drive without BitLocker password or recovery key. But for DRA to be able to remove the BitLocker protection, he should install a data recovery agent certificate into the computer in question previously. This method is used by maintenance employees in companies. The maintenance employee creates an encrypting file system or EFS data recovery agent certificate, then installs it on all of the company's computers, so that he can decrypt any file or drive in the future using that certificate if one of the company employees leaves, or if the recovery key is forgotten or lost. To unlock the BitLocker encrypted drive using DRA certificate, do the followings. Connect the locked system drive into another computer in which the DRA is installed. Search for CMD and then run command prompt as administrator. Type this command to show the details of locked partition. 
If there is a certificate thumbprint code, then the DRA was installed on the encrypted partition, so you can unlock it using this command followed by the thumbprint code. Third part, how to bypass BitLocker recovery key from Windows recovery environment. If the boot configuration data or BCD file is corrupted or contains errors in your computer, then Windows can't boot normally into login screen. Instead, the system will try to boot into automatic repair menu in order to repair startup failure. Booting into advanced recovery option will trigger the BitLocker to ask you for recovery key to unlock encrypted drive. This scenario is true for other sources of boot failure as well. So, to bypass the BitLocker without entering the recovery key, you have to rebuild the BCD as followings. Press ESC key to open the advanced recovery options. You may need to press F1 to boot into advanced recovery menu. If your computer boot into your PC slash device needs to be repaired blue screen, that mean your recovery is disabled, so you have to create a bootable USB in your mobile or in another computer, after that, boot from that bootable USB into advanced recovery options. For more details about creating a bootable USB, refer to video description below. Click on skip this drive to continue. Click on troubleshoot option and then select advanced options. Open the command prompt. Type the following commands to rebuild BCD. Close CMD window and then click on continue to restart system into login screen. If the boot failure was related to BCD corruption, the computer will boot into login screen normally after rebuilding the BCD. However, if there is a severe system failure, then you have to format your Windows partition and then reinstall a fresh copy of Windows as instructed on the fifth part, because you can't repair your system while the Windows partition is locked. You can also try to change boot menu policy according to your system. If you have Windows Server, execute this command. In Windows 10 or Windows 11, execute this command. Fourth part, how to fix BitLocker screen related to hardware changes. If you noticed that the BitLocker recovery screen appeared after adding or replacing a new hardware, then you have to revert the new hardware change back and then boot your computer into desktop screen. After that, export the BitLocker recovery key into a USB drive or another external storage, or disable the BitLocker protection. Now, install the new hardware part, and then use exported BitLocker key to unlock encrypted drive. Also if you have any external storage like DVD, USB drive, or SD card, then you have to disconnect this storage media before starting your computer. Fifth part, how to format the BitLocker encrypted partition and reinstall Windows. If all previous suggestions failed to unlock your Windows partition and you can't obtain the recovery key, then the only solution for you is to format the locked partition and then reinstall a fresh copy of Windows. If you decided to proceed with this suggestion, you have to create a bootable USB of Windows 10 or Windows 11 image in another computer or in your mobile. Refer to video description for more details about creating a bootable USB of Windows 10 or Windows 11. Once the bootable USB is ready, connect it to your computer and power the computer on. Press ESC key to open advanced recovery menu. Click on skip this device option and then select use a device option. If the EFI USB device option not shown, you have to disable secure boot and to enable USB boot support options from BIOS settings in order to boot from the USB. Select the EFI USB device option to boot from it. Select the ISO file of Windows and press enter. Select boot in normal mode and press enter. Press any key to continue. Select the desired language and then click next. Click on install button and follow on screen instructions. Press Shift plus F10 from keyboard to open a CMD window. Type BCD edit and press enter to identify Windows partition. In my laptop, the C is the Windows partition. Execute the shown commands to determine the size of Windows partition. In my laptop, the size of Windows partition is 62 GB. Back to installation wizard and select Windows partition based on its total size. Notice that the setup wizard stated that Windows cannot be installed to this hard disk space because the BitLocker device encryption is enabled on the selected partition. Click on Delete option and then click OK to confirm the deletion. This step will erase everything inside Windows partition permanently, however, the data and files inside other partitions will not be lost. Select the new partition if not selected and then click Next to start Windows installation process. Follow wizard instructions to customize Windows installation in your computer. 
For more details about customizing Windows installation, watch the video on description below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.